He shields up. The images were extraordinary. Tango Delta. The rockets, the rover, the resolution of pictures from the red planet. And there was the parachute. And something most people missed, the pattern. It's not symmetrical. But neither is it random. Seems NASA had a little fun with that. Sometimes we leave messages in our work for others to find for that purpose. So we invite you all to uh, give it a shot and show your work. That's all the inspiration Maxence Abela needed. I'm a big fan of space exploration. The computer whiz called up his software engineer dad to try to crack the message. I saw it as a tip that we had to, to look for something and uh, we proceeded to try and decode that. So what coded message would Earthlings take to another planet? Space, the final frontier. May the force be with you. To infinity and beyond! Endless possibilities. For Maxence, the real meaning was embedded in that design on the parachute. The orangey-red colors and the whites could be translated to a binary code of ones and zeros. Basic computer translation and the right counting scheme produced specific letters of the alphabet. And in a clockwise pattern revealed this. Dare mighty things. That and the GPS location of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California. Cute. We found uh, numbers that corresponded to alphabetical positions. Max did indeed show his work online. We found their mighty things that way. It was very nice. It's, uh, it's awesome. It's also the motto of the JPL team. You can see the phrase all around NASA, the message hiding in plain sight when Chen spoke. And we still get to dare mighty things together. It's from a speech by U.S. President Teddy Roosevelt long ago, to dare mighty things, to win glorious triumphs, even though checkered by failure. And that is the essence of space exploration. Push the limits, fail sometimes, and when successful, touch on confirmed. Celebrate. Safely on the surface of Mars. Taking one more step forward in scientific discovery. Maxence Abela says he feels a part of the team now and dares to hope he has taken a small step toward the career he wants in space technology. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.